Hey guys, how are ya? I thought we'd do something a little bit different. Uh, tonight I'm actually working on refining Feed Your Head. So I thought, let's take a break and get a little casual. Grab some tea and we're gonna talk unexpected death. Yeah, fun, right? A lot of times the line between humor and danger is often thinner than we think. And humor can make us feel empowered, almost immortal. But in reality, we're just fragile armatures in meat suits, stuck in a dimension where danger doesn't discriminate. The story we're talking about tonight is a perfect example of this, and it poses the question, just how far would you go for a laugh? I'm Dre of the Dead, and it's time to feed your head. So back in the early 90s in Canada, Holden Day Wilson was the largest law firm in the country and one of their employees was named Gary Hoy. Now Gary was a 38 year old Toronto local and was considered one of the best and the brightest in the business. He was highly respected, he was very popular, he was a swell funny guy. Gary also had a fascination for the structural integrity of modern architecture. And by this I mean that he occasionally launched himself at the windows of the building from the inside. I feel like you know this guy. Like if you've worked in a corporate job, you've met this guy. He's, he often gets away with stuff that he probably shouldn't and a little bit more than anyone else gets away with. And he's also really funny, he tries to make you laugh and stuff. Um, he's very performative. Uh, but I'm sure that there are some people that are just like, oh, awesome, Gary's launching himself at the windows again. Like, can, this is what, the 48th time? It's, I mean, thanks, thanks Gary, for letting us know that we're all safe and shit, so. And these were the Toronto Dominion Center buildings. So there's like three of them and they are massively huge. And it makes sense as to why he would want to do this. He probably trusted the windows because they were in such a modern and huge building um, that he thought that this would never backfire on him. I feel like Murphy's Law really plays into this one. You can only do something so many times before A, it's not funny anymore, and B, if it's something sort of dangerous, shit's gonna happen, you know what I mean? And from what I gather from the story is that he often did this with um, students, uh, articling students or interns um, who would come and tour the building and want to you know, join for an apprenticeship. And I get it, everyone's stuffy there and it's a law firm and you're showing up for an apprenticeship and you, know, you see somebody launch himself into the window and it's kind of like chest bumping a wall and you're just like, oh awesome, look at them, they're really a tight knit family and they're also real fun. But you know, it's, it's the 90s. Are there any rules right now? No. Not really. I mean, this was during a time when you could probably still smoke inside buildings. You could say bomb on a plane. There's a lot you could do in the 90s. I also just wonder how many times he had launched himself into this specific pane of glass and testing out the structural integrity of the window, but also in doing so, you are weakening the structural integrity of the window. Sometimes when you're trying to be funny, you are just all in on the performance and you know, good for you, you know, uh, commit to the bit. But sometimes you forget, sometimes you forget that other things are going on or that you might be placing yourself in some danger. In any case, on July 9th, 1993, they were holding a reception for uh, students that were looking to apprentice at the company. Of course, it was Gary who gave the tour. I'm sure he volunteered. I'm sure he loved to do this. He probably just woke up ready to slam into that glass. The thing about this bit though, is that I feel like you have one shot. Only get one shot. And if you don't do it right the first time, it's it's not gonna land the way that you want it to land. So Gary, being good old Gary, starts running towards this glass and he launches himself into it and he bounces off and it's funny and everyone laughs and I feel like this is where the mistake is made. You don't do that twice. The first and only time is the punchline. Gary made this mistake and I think he got a little cocky and he wanted to do this again, bigger and better. So Gary, backs up, realigns himself with the glass, and takes a running start at it, just 
just runs right into it. 160 pound man just right into the glass. I mean, in theory, it works because the glass doesn't break. However, upon impact, it pops out of its frame entirely, the entire piece of glass, and plunges 24 stories down with Gary into a courtyard below. Now, I feel like we've all been in a position where we've seen someone about to do some dumb shit, right? And we get that weird little anxious feeling inside because, ooh, we might watch a man die right now. And more often than not, you know, it's fine and you, you don't get traumatized. But every now and again, you know, shit just doesn't work out. When I researched this case, I came across the account of a man who had claimed to be a few stories below Gary when he fell out the window and that Gary had sort of slammed into his window on the way down and you didn't see it happen because his back was turned. But, so this incident happened on a Friday and this supposed witness claims that when he returned to work on Monday, the joke around his office was that Holden Day Wilson was switching OS's. Why? Because they didn't like windows. So this freak accident not only results in the death of Gary Hoy, it also results in the death of Holden Day Wilson. More than 30 lawyers leave the firm after the traumatic event. And in 1996, the company finally closes amid controversy from unpaid bills and compensation. So what's the moral of the story? Who the fuck even knows? Um, don't launch yourself into glass. The bit is only funny once. You are squishy and not immortal. Mm-mm, I sure like being alive. If you enjoyed this strange but true tale, be sure to subscribe and check out previous episodes. I put out new videos every other Friday. If you enjoy blooper reels and behind the scenes footage, consider joining my Patreon. These are just a few of the patrons who make these videos possible. Thanks so much for being part of this little casual cautionary tale. As always guys, thank you so much for joining me. Be well and what the fuck? My beanie fella. Be well and stay strange. Don't do stupid shit, kids.